to make this um, delicious and very addictive fondue that you can make any night of the year, not just St. Patrick's Day. I've got one bottle of Irish beer. You wanna pick a Pilsner or something that's light in color and light in flavor so it doesn't overpower. Don't go with like a heavy stout. So one bottle or 12 ounces of beer, one cup of crisp, dry white wine, not too sweet. That's coming up to a simmer and my heavy bottom um, pot. You wanna pick a pot with a rounded bottom to it so that when you're melting in the cheese, it stays nice and smooth and you can integrate the cheese evenly. Uh, I'm going to also add, because I'm half Italian, not all Irish, and I love garlic and everything, some crushed garlic. Throw that down in there. And then we're going to take half a cup, we put one cup in here, we're gonna use equal amounts of wine and beer. This was 12 ounces, that's a cup and a half. We're gonna take a half a cup of our wine and make a slurry, it's called, with a quarter cup of cornstarch. This is our thickening agent that keeps our sauce from breaking. We're going to combine that in a small bowl so that the cornstarch doesn't turn into little lumps. Once the slurry is made, we can add that remaining half cup of white wine to our mixture. And we're going to whisk that in to combine and that will start doing its job and thickening that up. Okay, while that's starting to thicken up and becoming a nice bed or base for our cheeses, let's talk cheese. For this, I used equal amounts of Irish cheddar, kind of a mild to medium flavor white cheddar, and these little guys, Baby Bells, or you can buy Bel Paese, or even White American. One pound of each of those two cheeses really makes a smooth, silky, a um, little bit sweet, not too savory. Really neat combo. When you're making, uh, sorry, I used the large side of a box grater for that, guys, because you don't want it to get stuck if you use too fine of a side of your box grater. Uh, and when you're making all fondue, this or any other fondue recipe that you come across, I think one of the real tricks is not to rush the cheese into the wine or whatever your liquid base is. You really want to add a handful of each of your cheeses Traditionally, that would be uh, Gruyere and Emmentaler, right? And you wanna add a little bit at a time and stir in a figure eight motion until that cheese is completely incorporated. Then add a little bit more and a little bit more. Each time stirring until it's completely enveloped in the sauce. Now we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of our baking soda to give it a nice viscosity, boom. And we're going to stir, 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 every stage, every stage incorporating. And then we're going to add in a shot of Irish whiskey. <laughs> and then to that, we're going to add just a little splash of Worcestershire and a couple of dashes of your favorite hot sauce and we're good to go. This is the around the world of how we're serving our Irish beer and cheddar and whiskey fondue. That makes me giggle just to say it. Um, so we've got some cubed sturdy bread. I like a nice rye or sourdough. We've got our baby carrots, our blanched celery. We've got our corned beef, of course, and our baby cabbages, Brussels sprouts. We also have some beef brisket to go with our potatoes, our little baby potatoes. And I love a salty pretzel rod dipped in cheese, delicious. I always put those out. So we're gonna take our beautiful velvety beer, wine and garlic and cheese fondue, put it right there over top of your sterno can. And that's it kids, that's a perfect. Cheese is good every day, so don't wait for next St. Patty's to make this again. It's a real hit. Uh, right after this, we have a couple minutes left. We're gonna do a little Q and Ray with the audience after this. Yeah. 